Hey, hey guys, I'm out walking my puppy dog. I'm gonna switch the camera so maybe you can see Kira. Bop, bop, bop. There's Kira. <laughs> and dog walking, walking outside is a great time for inspiration. And I just had a question from one of my clients and it's a question that comes up often and I thought that maybe it would be great to share it with you. The spirit moved me, I was inspired. Share some information while I'm walking the puppy. <laughs> Cause you know, hashtag real life, this is what we do. We get inspiration in the most beautiful of everyday moments, walking the dog, you know, going outside, taking the trash out, doing the dishes. And the question was, how do we make a decision? You know, when it comes to multiple opportunities, you have a really great opportunity to learn something and to discover a wealth of information, a gift you've been given, yet you have a certain amount of responsibility and expectations and projects of things that are due that you've made promises on. And you know there's no possible way that it can all be done at once, in time, on budget, you know, within scope, in scale. And here's the thing, you know, yes, are there ways that we can um, encourage miracles to happen and, and make most amazing moments out of the impossible? Yeah, yeah, can we bend time? Can we do wild things, quantum mechanics, quantum physics? All right, yeah, we can play with that, but here's the thing. There are moments in life where we keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and I know that I've been doing that for the last, I think four to six weeks, I've had a lot going on that I've been juggling, all fun stuff, but my body started to say, hey, you are pushing too hard too fast, and it starts to send me signals. Now, some of these signals you can ignore, right? Like a bit of a scratchy throat, or for me, my back starts to ache. That's one thing I notice. But this time around, I said, okay, Obviously, I've been pushing too hard. I need to pull back a little because I'm starting to feel the signs in my body that, you know, things are breaking down. So when it comes to decision making, your body is one of the most fantastic places to start. We pick up information so easily if we're aware. So for example, if you're around someone, and let's say there's been a fight recently and you're talking with them and this person is angry, you can usually feel their anger, right? You can tell that, you know, they're not happy with the way the situation went down, they've been wronged, and then your body starts to respond. Maybe you cross your arms over your chest, maybe you round your shoulders, maybe you feel heat building in your cheeks, maybe you feel kind of jittery in your tummy, uncomfortable. So what I invite you to do is become aware of those sensations of what's going on take that as a clue of like, all right, this is not a great situation to be in. This is not a position of a uh, yes. This feels like not so good. I'm gonna get out of the sun a little bit oh, so I can see you. So you use the physical body as a way to give you some feedback of what's going on. Now the next thing, oh, I can see you. The next thing to do is say, all right, well, if I can start to read my body and I think about my options of taking time to attend a conference and learn amazing, wonderful bits of information that are gonna help move my business forward, help me in my job, my role at work. If I have the opportunity to finish projects and presentations that I've promised, what, what should I do? What should I work on? How and what is the best use of my time? Tune into your body and what your body is telling you. If you hold the question out loud and you say, okay, what does it feel like to skip the conference and to stay in the hotel room and work on my presentations? What does that physically feel like? Do your shoulders relax? Does your jaw soften? Does your tummy oh, just do a sigh of relief? Does it feel good? Is your heart in it? If you have the opportunity to um, go to the conference instead say you know what does it feel like to go to the conference maybe your heart lights up because you're gonna see old colleagues you haven't seen in a while it's that new piece of information maybe that will recharge your batteries and give you the inspiration and motivation to get more work done so I'll end with this beautiful example I was at a wonderful benefit yesterday and it was an intense benefit right it was a um, was very inspiring but by the end of it people were feeling the weight of it and it was a little tiring in the sense of we'd been through this emotional experience and to do anything afterwards the thing that felt the best was maybe a nap so give yourself that moment to get outside to recharge your batteries to do something that lights you up because 
when you do the thing that lights you up, it recharges you so you can get more done in a shorter amount of time. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you've ever been caught in decision making, trying to figure out, you know, what's the best use of my time? I have all these things that are due. Where do I start first? You know, how do I know if this is going to be in my best interest to go forward with this action? Yes, there are many, you know, logical steps that we can take and systems that we can use to prioritize and obviously look at, you know, eat the frog first and all of that. but. What I want to share with you today is tap into your intuition. What does it feel like if you were to take that on and start with the feeling physically and then beyond that there's a world of so much more um, tools and sacred practices that you can use to help you refine and discern where your time is best spent. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you have an incredible day. So much love to you guys and if you want to continue this conversation, if this lights you up, if you want to know more, come hang out with me over in my free Facebook group. I'll make sure I have the link up there, but have a great Sunday. Bye.